Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your August energy reading. We're going to take a look at the cards. We're going to do a Celtic cross and see what the energies have to say for you for the month of August. It's been quite amazing. Let's see. The Ace of Wands is at your center. The Emperor is crossing or supporting you this month. The Queen of Cups is at your foundation. The Nine of Pentacles is in your past. The Seven of Swords is in your focus. That just completely lightened up the mood here. Ah, until we get the Devil it, as your outcome, which I, I love, by the way. Okay, I love that showing up for you, um, Scorpio. Wait, wait, it's going to be beautiful. Here we go. Ace of Wands. Okay, good. I'm just totally feeling a divine spark in you. Do you know it's there? Do you know that there's a divine spark of light in there? Um, because it is, it's, it's tiny here. This wand is tiny. It's inside of you. And it's in a great vast darkness is where I see it. Okay. But this is your core energy. Energy. How fitting is that? Um, the divine spark in your core. Core is the word corazón or the word heart. A divine spark in your heart. Okay. Passionate passionate beginning. The emperor is crossing or supporting you. Um, I'm feeling him as Thor or Odin, um, a Norse god here. Okay, so let's go with that. Um, I I'm seeing that divine light as a light of winter. So before time, Scorpio, let's say that there was a spark of winter. It was a snowflake. Okay. And I'm feeling like this is your beginning um, at your foundation is the queen of cups. She's sad. And I'm thinking that she didn't like the beginning. She didn't like the cold. Okay. She's looking for this gold, um, for sunlight and warmth, the gold cup, her trophy. This is your greatest desire. It's to turn that spark of silver, that divine light, that white light of silver into a spark of gold, which has more warmth and sunlight in it. That's your foundation. That's your deepest desire. Warmth and sunlight. Okay. So... In your past, you've got this independence, and I like that. There's independence, and there's this confidence almost like care, care not. Like you don't, you're not caring what everybody's thinking, okay? And you're going about your business, and you're confident, and you're enterprising, and you're independent, I almost feel here, this is in the forefront of your mind, um, that this was a little bit fooling yourself and a little bit running away with the winter. Oh, this, this um, divine spark that was silvery and wintry and snowy, okay? Running away with all of that. If thinking that that was the prize. I'm liking this though, and it's because 
the, you see the yellow in the background? That's that golden warmth and golden sun. Scorpio, that's what I feel. We need you, obviously. You are 112th or 113th of the zodiac. Um, I feel like we needed you to be this charismatic, independent, like separate from the crowd, um, enterprising character. The one who could run away with winter, the ice, the stony hearts, the cold hearts, run away with them. Okay? And you were doing it all by the warmth of the sun, like it was divinely appointed to you to be able to take that winter and steal it away. This is speaking to me about your worth. How worthy you are as the Scorpio that you are. How worthy. How valuable you are. I think last week we talked about the characteristics of you that are not what they appear to be. They're so much more grand than we ever give them credit for. This is, again, showing me your value and your worth. Like, subtle and sly, almost like the serpent in the garden, but he's such an intricate, important part of the story. It cannot happen without him. It's like he's the cornerstone of the story. And I'm feeling that kind of energy for you, how important you are. The cornerstone. So take these symbols and relate that to your life. Are you the cornerstone of your family? Because I feel like you are. Okay? And that they know your value, and it's almost like you don't because you think you were slippery and subtle like the serpent, kind of playing a role. But no, no, that role was valuable and true. Okay? Yeah, like I said, um, I, all of us need to meet this guy face-to-face -face in order to evolve. And he plays, he, guess what he is? <laughs> he is the teacher. He's the taskmaster, but he's the school master. He is the schoolmaster. And he, yeah, he keeps you in check in order that you learn your lessons. But eventually you graduate. He, he, I see him making such a huge sacrifice for everybody. Sacrificing so much for everybody. Okay, that would be you. Sacrificing for other people in your life. Okay, let that be your value, your worth. This is the part you play, and it's so, so, so important. Teaching the lessons to the people in your life. Okay, huge, huge. Um, maybe showing winter, but harboring summer all along, or spring all along. Couldn't do it without the winter. Okay. So think about those things, those symbols, and what they mean to you as a person and to others in your life. Huge value in what you do. And you must believe that, okay? One card keeps, I pulled one, and the other keeps calling to me. So let's look at them. Oh, 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 my goodness. <laughs> did I just switch the wrong one? I sure did. Okay, I love it. 
okay, that's that darkness and here's that warm. Here's the cold and here's the warm. Uh, so this um, solar plexus, you guys, it's your diaphragm, okay? It's what helps you breathe. You are the wind. You are the spirit of everybody's life around you. I'm, I feel I'm feeling that a lot. Sometimes it's the cool, cutting wind. Okay? Other times, on the truest level, it is a warm, cozying breeze in, under the sunlight in the summer. Okay, on the truest level, that's what it is. And you know, only you have the class, like classiness to be able to play this part. Okay, it takes so much class, but there's another word trying to come through. Um... Class, classy. Of course it's classy. You are the schoolmaster and the teacher. Okay? That's, that's a beautiful role that you are playing in everybody's life, everybody you come into contact with. So keep doing what you do. You are so valuable and worthy. I love it, Scorpio. I will see you... Friday for the collective, and then mid-August, we'll check in and see how the classroom is going. Thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe.